nature on the whole is a beautiful access point into inner stillness if you can be there fully present. Mm -hmm. But a flower is even everything. You say is, messengers from another realm. Yes, like messengers. A flower is very much more fragile than a plant. It is more fleeting, mm -hmm. uh, ethereal, I think is the word, yes. more ethereal. So it's, it has less density to it than most other things. It is so, so, and because of the lack of density, it's almost as if spirit could flow through it more freely. Mm -hmm. So when you contemplate a flower without too much interference of the thinking mind to mm -hmm. actually truly look. This is what Jesus said, by the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, in churches you hear Jesus saying, look at the lilies of the field. Yes. And so when he said that, he wasn't just saying, look at the lilies of the field. He said, Aren't they look. Pretty? Yes. He said, look, you really have to look because there is, there is something that they embody something that you also have, but, but because of all your anxiety about tomorrow and your thinking, that's what is, I'm translating very freely now, yes. what Jesus said. Why are you, these flowers are not anxious, they, have no, they are not concerned about tomorrow, and see how beautiful they are, mm -hmm. how God clothes them in, in such beauty. And you can live like that also. So he, want, he used this natural realm and flowers to get people in touch with the dimension of depth within them. Well, what's very interesting to me about all of this is that when I read that the first time, I thought it was, you know, a beautiful passage. And then I read it a second time and uh, awakened a little bit more and started to look at nature differently. You know, I have a, you know, live in a lovely space where I'm surrounded by flowers. And, you know, I always just appreciated the garden. Aren't they lovely and all the different colors and the roses and all that? And then I decided to move into the garden without naming it. What if I were like a babe? Yes. What if I were a babe, yes. you know, learning what a flower was for the first time? What if I uh, went out under the, the oaks that I love so much, but I didn't know it was an oak? I didn't know what to call it. And I shared this uh, in one of our after shows that for the first time, and I've loved trees all of my life and the, the, the sense of power and stillness they represent, but by not naming those things in nature, that I felt a magical presence. I felt a, a sense of majesty and power and strength and connection that I'd never felt before. Yes. Because I didn't give it a name. Yes, that's the key. Being able to perceive, mm -hmm. one could call it, perceive the flower, see it, through a background of just stillness. Just stillness. Which is really consciousness. Yes. Well, I will tell you, it's an amazing, for the, all of those of you who've tried this, and I know some of you have because you've uh, emailed us and said so, but when you start to walk through a park and, or walk in your backyard and Pretend that you don't know or just let yourself be in the space without labeling the things. It's just everything's vibrating and it's like, you know, scintillating. Yes. And everything's exciting. Yes. And that's, everything's uh, exciting. Yes. And A then walk you, through the park right. becomes exciting and it's the same path you've always taken. Yes.